Oh no! These wires are all tangled up. I'm gonna have to fix that. Why would... How did this happen? How? It's, oh, wow. This is uh, pretty bad, so... Um, just have to make do. One, two, three, three, two, one. One, two, three, A, B, C, D, D. That's good enough, future me. Don't you complain about it. Just how did this happen? It's all loop-de-looped. -looped. There's coily coils in my ropes. It's the last level, and after this, uh, it's just two boss fights, and then the game is over. It's not a long game. I never said it was a long game, but... Last level, oh, lots of fun. Lots of good memories. Ooh, but today... Possibly the best single enemy in the game for being just super cool. I'll give you a hint. Laser Sand Jellyfish. If that rings a bell, then welcome to Pecan Sands. Which sounds a lot like Pecan Sandies, but... Look at these little mummies with desert flowers on their heads. That's just adorable. I like these Anubis dogs. They are so cool. Ooh. And the song is pretty good, too. No, the spooky mummies. Oh. Hello, enemy. <sighs> oh yeah, also scorpion dudes for whatever reason. Don't ask me about the scorpion dudes, they are just weird. Oh yeah, lots of platforming. I forgot about these parts of the level game. Now the question is, where's the red button? I really like Wario's shoe sound. It's very nuanced. Oh. I do like how they have that over there before you do this one. So that it's mostly your fault. It's mostly your f Oh, wow! They are kicking it off with the boss fights in this final level. They are not loafing. Have a rotten day. The words of a wise man. Ah, and so long. Oh, Wario, truly a man of his era. There's the red button. I like the red button. It's a big red button. I wish Wario would hold R until he felt the click, but that's just too much to ask, isn't it? Mr. Dude. How nuanced. Very nuanced. I like it. Um. Mm. I am a hungry potato. Oh. The f fuck? 
Hey, there's a little dude! That's uh, an amazing place to give us that tip since we've already faced. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. Please, kaboots it all you want, Mr. Wario. But oh, those Anubis guys have such big hands. It makes them so sexy. Then again, what mummy doesn't have style with ears like those? The latest and hottest fashion with Anubis. At least he's got makeup that matches himself, I guess. So yeah, these are basically magnet walls, but you toss shovels into them instead of the usual. Oh, look at them. They also look pretty cool. Neat. God! God damn it! Thank you. Oh. You could also just jump on this waterfall, though. But I like doing things the hard way. Once. And then I'm done. Hey, it's that guy. I thought you were a boss, not a dude. Somehow more threatening than the actual boss. Somehow. I don't know how he does it. Some say it's magic. Others say it's just an abracadabra. I have my own theory. He's just really fucking cool and we never noticed. Oh, try me, baby. You ain't no match for Mr. Wa-E-O. Nobody's a match for Wario. Oh. Unlike Mario, Wario is fine standing at the bottom of a pit of sand. What a man this Wario is. A representation of what should be... Oh, wow, what the... Is those is that bottom step missing? It is. Huh. Um. Huh? No. But what if Look at that lovely uh, writing on the wall. I don't even know. Might have to look this one up, actually. I'm just not good with these blocks.
can't momentum. Ugh. This is not how you're supposed to solve it, is it? Ah, but I don't want to look stuff up! That ruins the surprise! Yep, I'm gonna have to look it up. <sighs> Mario World Game Facts. Oh, watch out, watch out! Don't fall off, Mr. Controller. I only have like a few of you. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Pecan Sands block thing. Is that this one? It is. Ugh! Ugh! Well, that's just ridiculous. So it's a lot simpler than it seems, actually. I don't think I ever got this one as a... It's probably the one thing I missed, or maybe I got it once by, you know, glitching it out like I did, but... Yep, that's it! It's it's actually that simple, but it's a little bit... I don't know, I, I wouldn't see it coming. Jesus Christ, Wario! What's with that big fat air of yours? Jesus, Warrior's just buried in Benjamins. I wouldn't like to be buried in Benjamins. Oh. Mmm. Good. Laser Jigglefish! <laughs> it's the best name ever. Ah, oh, look at them. They are the best enemy this game has ever seen. Like, what modern-day jellyfish that has an ounce of self-respect shoots lasers? Only the cool ones. Oh yeah, I love that half-buried head. I guess a half-buried Wario head will have to suffice. Oh, there's a button up there. Hey, dudes. I do like that the game lets you do that, even though it doesn't seem very fair, but... Oh! 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 Oh, great. I have to wait. Can I... can I do this? <sighs> Did I s Yes, I sinked. It just dawned to me that I may not... Ah! There's something in my eye, but it won't come out. It's a little salt thing. Stupid salt flake. This is why I demand to be paid only in candy corn. It doesn't get in your eye. It's not the only reason, though. And all you smart people out there know what I'm on about. Ooh, a pyramid. It's a small pyramid. 
logically be a small period. Did I just say, uh... I like these things because the game never tells you what the fuck they are. It just, they're just there. Here's a mechanic we're never gonna explain. It's just, what is in my eye? Why won't my eye fix itself? Oh! I'm getting snorted up by a nose. I guess that's a way to go, Wario. Oh, it has a rib cage! Ooh, that's spooky! What a weird enemy! Then again, I fought a dinosaur in a bikini and a cow in, in Speedo, so I don't think. I don't think appealing to the weird is something I'm legally allowed to do anymore. My eye is just so. Oh! Mm. It hurts so bad. I think my eye doesn't want to tear up. Maybe a drink will help. Ah! Now that's a refreshment. Ah! Oh my goodness, it's Lazy Jellyfish. Hello, Mr. Lazy Jellyfish. Look at that big old laser blop. How even? Oh, yeah, I think you're supposed to pile drive them. It doesn't matter, they are slow to fight enemies. Unlike Thardis, who you can just sort of beat up, this. Finally, we can. Jesus Christ, this is just. So bad. Why would you put an annoying little man? Oh. I didn't know that. Well, I guess I had to show this room. I did never show some of the other ones, so I guess that doesn't count. Oh, look, we can walk over here for no reason. Good. Nice detail video game. You know, this game has one major problem. This is short. I don't think it's worth the full price. You know? So, good game. Uh, if you get it cheap, you should, you should just get it. Like, there's no reason not to play this game. It's a fantastic game. You'll have a blast. You'll feel like a man. Even if you're a woman, you'll be like, mm. All this manliness surging through me. It's almost as if a part within me has been awakened. A part that shouldn't... Look at that tail! Sorry, sir. Didn't mean it like that. Did not mean it like that! Let it be stricken in the records. I did not mean it like that. Just use a column. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, you know. It's weird, because the column is the one you think that would work, but it doesn't. Oh, this one's pretty sneaky, but, uh... Yeah. And then it is this. Some reason? I don't get this. What, is, what does this mean? Look at that big old treasure. Ooh. I do like how we're slowly encircling the pyramid, but there's a lot more base to this pyramid than there is, you know, pyramid. If we don't find this guy soon, I am going to murder someone. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good tip, is that it tells that you can go underground. 
And that's something I like, is that a boss uses that mechanic that's otherwise just annoying. It makes it useful. And here's a good tip, video game designers. If you've got a mechanic that's actually super annoying, um, try to use the mechanic in a way that makes it useful. And people will be like, eh, I guess it's sort Look at that sexy noobus. Could do with more eyeliner, though. These guys could do with more eyeliner. But maybe they're wearing eyeliner, I just can't see the eyeliner. I love telling stories about how I was a little baby didn't know certain things. Because this is a game that I played back when I was really little. I was a little, I was a little lass... lad. Lass or lad? I couldn't tell you. Times were rough. We didn't have the money to, to figure that one out. Did we have the money? We didn't have the money. You know... I'm just a downtown girl, living in a lonely world. <laughs> that was fun. Having a blast. I'm really enjoying this level. Um, more than Mirror World, because it does stuff. You know? Mirror World's pretty cool, uh, thematically speaking. It's a pretty interesting level. It's different. Ah, oh, look at him go. It's very nimble for a fatso. I'll give Wario that much, is that this guy does not slack off on the exercise. Which is interesting, because in Wario Land 4, as we all know, he does all those exercises before the bosses. I do like that. I really like that. Oh, look, it's a health piece. Um... I wonder what the last pieces are, though. Oh. Just a big old statue. A bigger version of these, actually, which is what makes them pretty interesting. They are just basic reuse of assets, but it's done in such a... Oh! Oh, hello, sir. I need your head, sir. Would you mind joining me on this survey? Aw, oh, he didn't like the survey. Oh, I remember this level. There's actually super little to do in this level, but it looks really big for no reason. Um, yeah, uh, there's lots of places you can go, but you don't have to. I don't get this area at all. I get the sensation it was supposed to be compressed into some sort of giant puzzle cube, but instead it's this weird room thing with lots of different things going on, but no real reason to interact with those things, you know? Makes it feel like an empty husk. There's this, and you can be like, oh man! Oh. Again, really nice that the Nintendo GameCube has these little uh, corner bits to make sure that you can only go in the eight cardinal directions if you push it too far, because it makes it so much easier to realign yourself, you know? It makes it so much easier to realign yourself. Question mark blocks. Ooh. Oh, why did they put hit one of those guys in here? Come on. Don't make me do this. 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 Oh! Oh! Pretty much an endurance race at best. Otherwise, not too interesting. Oh. Don't ever do this without a wall or something. Just don't, because people will get super nervous. And they won't feel like it's fair, you know. The most important part about a game is that it feels fair. So basically, do everything that Dark Souls 2 didn't do. Wink, wink, nut, nut. Nah, my opinion has somewhat changed. Dark Souls 2 is just a mess. It's nothing else. Oh, look, there's a whole new level to explore. How exciting. Uh, yeah, there's no shortcut up here. You just... You, you fall, you are boned. And it's that, that simple. Falling equals boning, apparently. I can't believe I just said that, but I did. And the plus side, it's not difficult platforming. It's not... It's nothing... Complicated. Oh, we have to go over here. Do we? Do we really? Well, it seems like I have to go over there, so... Isn't that neat how this level just does that? I do like those speed lines once you fall a certain distance and Wario picks up speed. Because it gives the sense of Wario is moving right now. Now hold R until you feel the click. 
Don't forget to huff the poor arm until you feel the click, kids. It's how winners win and losers lose. Wow! That's pretty interesting. But this also means that I have technically cut myself out of the bad ending. But there is actually a person who did the bad ending. You can go watch that one. Uh, his name is DT Fox, and I'll put it up once it becomes relevant. As of right now, it is not relevant. What are we missing? Two treasures. We got all the crystals, and we're only missing a piece. Okay, so we're missing a chest, a button. I think, yes, this button. Oh, we got eight hearts now. Whoa, that laser's, uh... Got a whole mess of range on that beam. And I think I missed the chests. I did miss the chests. Ah, oh, this is so annoying, and for no good reason. It's the Nintendo game! Cube! Oh, look at that Wario. He's looking good. We've got the Ancient Ring. Ooh, this looks really nice. Ancient Necklace. Remarkably detailed, for what it's worth. And then we get the Nintendo GameCube. An ancient treasure of an ancient time. Is that everything in this level? Yep. It's everything! Steep order, six whole gems! And in the middle of this pyramid... Get up, Wario. You can do it. Just believe. So I just do this to escape them. I missed. And he blew himself up. This actually avoids it. And that's what I meant is that this mechanic is annoying. But it's used in a fascinating way. But in order to kill him, we must swing. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Easy spammable boss. But he's got a cool gimmick. That you can just, you know, I think you can jump over it. But... Hey, thanks for a short video. Shorter video. It's pretty still uh, at least 30 minutes long, so. That was fun. Now we only got two more bosses left. We've got Captain Sparkle Pants and the back Black Jewel. Oh, look at that full chest. Hmm. We have maxed out our health. And all that awaits is a boss that I barely remember. I remember fighting the Black Jewel, but not this one. His name is Captain Skull's Showdown. Exciting.
Oh, I'm so sad it's almost over. But you know, you can't win them all. Or can't? No, you can't. Big fat chest. 